Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and we got a new freebie from Epic Games, and this is a new sample called Crop Out. Now this one is kind of unique in that it's actually aimed at the more casual game market. It's not normally what you think of when you think of Unreal Engine, but basically it is like a casual RTS style game written using Unreal Engine uh, 5.2. Uh, so it is a top-down casual RTS, uh, demonstrates best practice for building a title designed for cross-platform release from low-spec mobile devices to powerful gaming consoles and PCs. Cropout is set up for you to build once and then distribute everywhere. So if you're looking for how the heck to use Unreal Engine kind of demo, this is it. So this is going to show it's entirely built using blueprints. Uh, game also demonstrates several new Unreal Engine 5 features, including common UI, uh, enhanced input, and the geometry script. Uh, also on top of that, you'll be able to see behavior trees, EQS, save load, blueprint interfaces, etc. in action. So all of this stuff is here. You're getting the new UI, common UI support being shown there, geometry script for creating this uh, island environment here, the enhanced input, and so on. If you want to go ahead and grab this guy, there is a video that kind of walks you through it. I'll show you the very basics in this video. On top of that, it is up on the Epic Game Store. Quite literally, just add to your cart, check out, download, just like any other project, and let's go check it out in action. All right, so here we are. This is Unreal Engine. Now, interestingly enough, this little procedurally generated guy, it is causing my Unreal to be just really chuggy, and I'm not really sure why that is, but it is definitely the case. The game itself runs just fine. Let's go ahead and actually check this guy out. Um, the controls are a little weird to start with, so it is... Uh, uh, actually, here, we're in an existing game. Oops, did not mean to do that. Uh, so yeah, I keep expecting escape to be go to the menu, uh, but that's actually not the case. So here, let's find my mouse, go to the pause here, and we will restart the game. You're going to notice when I restart it, it's going to automatically generate, uh, procedurally generate a new island. So here we are, you can see in this environment, so once again, if I can find my... So this is designed for touch, which makes it very confusing trying to figure out, there we are, uh, where your mouse actually is. So we'll do a restart once again, and you're going to see a completely different island, and it just proc generates it all for you. Uh, you do have user control, so once I get in here, you're going to see a little circle where my mouse selection would be. I can click on guys, uh, basically like so, and then I can drag them. You would obviously use your finger to pick that. So we want him to pick up some food. We can send him for food, send this guy for rocks, and we, sorry, I guess, sorry, trees, rocks, and we'll send this guy for food. Obviously, you can see your resources over here. We are slowly depleting on food, so we're going to want to do something about that. Once it comes in, so you can see here, we just gathered up some wood and some rock there. We can click up build. Here's where your uh, UI layer comes in like so, and we could go ahead and create a um, field. Let me just drag this over here so it's a little bit closer and boom, place it and then cancel out. So you can obviously, you can place items in the world, etc. Obviously, again, this is designed to work on a variety of different platforms. Very much a uh, touch-oriented interface that they've got going on. Let me just exit out of there. So if you want to get into this guy and take a look at it, there's a few things you're going to want to look at. First off, it's a procedural generation. So you hear your island. Uh, this is how it is actually generated. So it's using uh, the new geometry tool stuff in here. And it's basically building using geometry scripts, uh, the island here. Again, everything in this example is using blueprints. So that's one area you're going to want to go ahead and check out. Uh, the other area, there's the spawner here that kind of is just breaking things up and, and kind of creating the various different pieces in your world. Uh, and then we've got on top of that, uh, we so we saw the island generator, so saw the spawner, and then finally you got your blueprint for your game logic, and most of it is all in here. And you're going to find it's broken up into several different things, so, you know, talk between build mode, etc. You just want to come on down here, take a look at the various different functions that are available. So in build mode, for example, you see, you know, create a new building. So update build asset, remove resources, etc. Uh, your interface layer is all being handled right here, so you can do your... Um, Okay, thought, yeah, so here it is. Here is your script for adding the UI in. A couple of other interesting things to jump into here. Jump into the uh, the blueprint section here. So there is your blueprint controlling the villager that's wandering around in your world. But you'll also notice you've got um, these data files in here as well, including behavioral tree stuff here. So here's the behavioral tree controlling the, um, the building processes, for example. And then if you dig down just a little bit further into this collection, you will also find things like that. The various different tasks that are available for example um progress on construction and that is handled via a blueprint and that is being called uh so over here you'll see 
that is so BTT progress construction is part of this sequence of tasks for move to target and start build progress. And there it is. There's ultimately how it is being called. So again, a lot of the various different pieces of Unreal Engine 5.2 that you would use for a casual game are in here. Uh, again, these three are kind of like the heart blood of this guy. The BP player is where the, the game logic actually exists. Again, you drill into um, the blueprint section, you will find the villager controller down here. And you dig down a little bit further, you'll find the AI that's actually controlling said villager. And uh, you also jump in here, you've got the, the UI layers. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the UI being used, here you can see, for example, here is the pause menu and how it is set up and how it works as widgets. And this is kind of a, a comprehensive example showing you how to make a more casual style game using Unreal Engine 5.2. And sometimes trying to place together how all the damn things in Unreal Engine can be a little bit daunting. Uh, so it's nice to see examples like this. It's not like an uber complex example. There's not, you know, 100 million things to dive into. You don't have to jump into C++ or anything. Literally, just jump in here. Got to learn some blueprints. Got to learn the various different pieces and how they work. And again, they've broken it all down. And if you want to learn a little bit more, for example, if you want to learn about geometry scripts here um, that enable you to generate and edit meshes via blueprints in Python, they've got drill down. So you can jump in here and learn a little bit more about all of that as well. And then if you go back to the sample project itself, you're going to notice there is actually, uh, well, that's the sizzle reel, but there's a, a video that walks you through the entire process of working with this guy. Yeah, it's right here, the guided tour. Uh, so if you want to jump into a bit more details, the details are here. It kind of walks you through how this project works uh, in a little bit more depth than what I just did. So that guy is available up on the uh, store. It is uh, completely free. If you're wondering, can you use these assets in your own titles? Yes, you can. Uh, there is a fact somewhere on FAQ that actually walks you through what the permissions are. So you need to use Unreal Engine 5.2 something. Uh, and yeah, you can use these commercially if you wish. So uh, you can use this as the basis of your own game if you so desire. And again, nice to see something a little bit more casual focused. Oh yeah, so here you can see. So you do need to use 5.2.1 or later. So very current. Um, it can run on pretty much any package out at any platform out there. And it's one of the big things about this example. And the assets can be used in a commercial project, and they also encourage you to use this in an educational setting if you so wish. So this is all about uh, that kind of learning environment they're trying to set up. It's an interesting project. I'm curious what you think of Crop Out. I keep thinking it's Cop Out, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this project in the comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.